Okay, to run up, I want to run up to my horse. I'm going to have a big smile on my face that's telling her that she's a good girl, not to move out of my space, because this is the one time I will face my horse with eye contact and my shoulders square as I run up on this horse. But the smile on my face is going to tell her that she's okay. She loves to play in the, in the dirt. Okay, here I come. And I'm going to just do it nicely, baby step, and see if it's a problem for her. No, but I need her attention on me. There you go. Here I come. Good girl. And I reach up and I just rub her face. Oh, she's all relaxed about. So I'm going to get further back. And I jiggled a little bit because I don't want her following me. Here I come. Well, that got her attention, me running. Good girl. Good girl. I want to be able to run fast. And it's scary having a human get back, running up on you. Good girl, but I want her to be able to do this. Here I come. And I just reach and I just keep loving her until she drops that head. Good girl. And you notice how she's turning her head to see me out of that right eye. So I need to work on this left side more to develop that left side. What a good girl. Here I come. Good girl. Good girl. And I'm just baby stepping her through this. I want to give her a heart attack. I want her to trust me. Build that trust and confidence. She can see all these exercises just build and build on one another building our relationship, our companionship, trust and confidence in me as her leader. Good girl. What a good girl. Very nice. Oh, and she's putting her head down. Oh, what a good girl. Yes, very good girl. Okay, one more time. Here I come. Oh, good girl. And she's not moving. That's great. Oftentimes horses will just, I'm out of here, wah, and take off. And you want to help them. Don't jerk them. Don't force them. But hang on to the rope. Keep your hands up there and smile and, and encourage, you're all right, you're all right. And get your hands on their face and get them to relax and drop that head. If she was to be too freaked out about this, I'd just baby step. If she starts to freak out, I'd go back to where she was good at it, get a starting point again, and then build from there. Good girl, you did a great job. So the next desensitizing we're gonna do with Tilly today is tarping. I require every horse in my training program to be tarped before I ride. Now Tilly is here to be started under saddle. So this is gonna help, uh, this is gonna help me considerably when I get to the point of putting a saddle on her. She needs to be able to carry that tarp on her body and have it over her eyes as well, quietly, rationally. So I'm gonna help her with that today. And I, I suggest everybody tarp their horse. It really helps build confidence and trust. If your horse has to cross under something scary, they've had the tarp already on their body, touching them. When she's had it on her body, then she'll need to cross the tarp as well. So above her and below her, she will experience the tarp today. So I'm going to introduce the tarp in a very small way. I'm going to make it small and introduce her to the tarp. So I'm going to fold it in many layers and then let her sniff it. Good girl. And encourage the curiosity. Good girl. Very nice. Now I'm going to shorten that lead rope as I do when I'm desensitizing. And I'm going to just come into the shoulder here. Just kind of touch her and rub her with it. Good girl. And then step away. Just touch retreat. Good girl. Let her smell. And we're just going to, it's just going to love you. The tarp's going to love you. So tarp and my hand are loving her. Good girl. I'm just going to love you. And retreat. Good job. So she's going to identify with this tarp that there's good things going on. This is nice. I'm getting rubbed. I'm getting loved. This is nice. Good girl. Good girl. Down her feet. Good job. And look, she's relaxed. See where her head is? That's relaxed. Good. Now I've got that nose just in case she gets silly back here. Good girl. And I've got myself in a nice safe position and ready to pull that nose if I needed to. Good girl. 
good job. You're being such a good girl. And what I do on one side, I'm going to do the other, and then the tarp's going to start growing. So let me love you on this side. Tip that nose a little bit. Tarp's going to love you. Good girl. Good girl. And tarp's going to love you some more. Good girl. Can I love you? Good girl, you need to smell that. She started backing up. I thought, well, you know what? She needs to check it out again. That's all right. Just try to read what your horse is telling you. She's going, you know, I need a little more time with that. I'd like to see that again. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, now she's licking and chewing. Isn't that great? Grabbing her. She's being so good. She's licking and chewing. Good girl. Very good. Now... The tarp's going to start growing. And if you've blanketed your horse, this is probably not a big deal. However, the noise might be a big deal to your horse. You may have been able to get a blanket on, but if, if it's not a noisy blanket, the tarp can be kind of scary because of its crinkling. And I want to make it crinkle. I want her to experience that noise. I'm going to love her. Tarp's just going to love you. And the tarp's going to start growing a little bit more. And I'm going to step on the other side of her and deal with the tarp on this side as it grows. Good girl. And the tarp's going to love you. And you want to be careful because the horse can jump right into you. If you get this tarp up and around that off side, you want to be careful. She might get scared and i got to be ready to bump her out of my space. Good girl. She's being very rational. Very good. And that head's down. That is nice. That tarp's just going to grow a little bit more and tarp's just loving you. Yeah, you're being such a good girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I'm going to love you over there, and I'm going to love you. Oh, what a good girl. What a good girl. Now, if your horse starts to have a meltdown, take it back to a position where it's okay, where your horse is okay with it. Remember, don't force this. Don't force your horse to accept it. Allow them to adjust to the tarp as you're introducing it. She's backing up, so I'm just going to love her. And I need her head down. There. Good job. I'm going to go on her bottom. Oh, yes, I know. You're so curious about things. And you know, their lips, their mouth is a way of touching, of tasting. Um, the mouth is like a prehensile finger. You know how they can pick out the tiniest little seed. So keep that in mind. Your horse is nibbling a little bit. If it's annoying, you know, tell your horse to knock it off. But I don't mind a horse just tasting a little bit or checking me out. That's not a bad thing. It's if they use teeth. And if they're constantly nibbling, then I'm going to get after them. But there's a little level of tasting, of touching me. She's just touching me with her mouth. Checking, oh, good girl, she's checking that out. There. Good job. You're being such a good girl. And the tarp's going to grow. Now this can be kind of scary as it gets big and it plops over to that other side. So I'm positioning myself ready to jump out of the way if I need to. Good girl. I've had horses jump towards me when I do that and it can be scary for them. So you just want to be careful. You do this slowly and take your time. If your horse starts to melt down, take it off. Bunch it up to be smaller. Good girl, she's checking that out. And then go back to finding the starting position. What are you doing? You gonna pull that up and over you? I had a horse do that one time, put it up over his eyes and he grabbed it with his mouth and pulled it even further. It was adorable. Good girl, she's licking and chewing. She's thinking about it. I'm just gonna stand here and let her think about that a little bit. Good girl, good girl. No biting, right? Good. I know you like to check things out and taste things, and I don't mind that. Just no biting. What a super girl you are. And it's going to grow a little bit more, and I'm going to love her through that. Good girl. It's going to go over her bottom now and up around her head. You are being such a good girl. And see, by this time, I've spent a lot of time with this horse doing those three foundational requirements. Backing up, pressure and release with bonding, and leading her, teaching her to lead, and working the five uh, simple ground techniques. We've been working on that. And 
By this time, we've had quite a bit of desensitizing in the smaller things. This is more advanced desensitizing. So she has really built a lot of confidence with me and trust with me. So by the time you get to the tarp work, it's more advanced. You don't want to just start out with tarp work. You want to work your way up to that. By the time you get there, your horse should be fairly amenable to doing this because you've built that companionship, that relationship with your horse and that trust. And I'm just loving her, allowing her to just kind of absorb this right now. You're being such a good girl. Such a good girl. Supporting her that she's doing the right thing. You're going to check that out. Good girl. Just let her play with it. Good job. That's just honoring her. Yeah. And she's licking and chewing on her own. I'm so proud of you. Now I'm just going to pull that down a little bit. Can I do that? Can I do that? Oh, now this is where it can get kind of scary. There now. So I'm going to shorten that leg up a little bit. I'm going to attempt to just pull it over her eyes. Yeah, and I'm just going to put my hand up there. Good girl. I'm just going to get my hand in here to support her on her neck as this rides. Uh -uh. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, she's starting to get concerned. That's all right. That's all right. Shh. You're okay. You're okay. Good girl. Good girl. She's licking it. It's a little too much for her. She's just telling me, you know, I'm not ready for that. Just not ready for that. That's all right. Give her a little more time. Just gonna give her a little more time to think about it, work it out. Good, and absorb it. Good, now I'm gonna try it again. Keep my hand in there, love her through it. Good girl, I'm right here. I'm right here, good job. Good job, there you are. That was much better. Just taking the time. Take your time with your horse. Good girl. I'm gonna do it again. And she's gonna find out it's okay, and I'm gonna be right here for you. I'm right here with you. Good girl, try to get your head down. Good girl, good girl. And I'm gonna be in here with her, helping her. I'm gonna support her through it. I don't expect her to be by herself under here. I'm gonna be there with her. Good girl, helping her be, be under the tarp. We'll be there together. And then I'm gonna pull it off. Very good. You did the right thing. Good girl. You see I keep stroking her and stroking her. Good girl, that's letting her know that she's doing the right thing. Now we're going to try it from this side. Oh, I'm right here. Let me do it with you this way. I'm right here for you. I'm right here for you. That's my girl. There she is. Good girl. Good girl. I'm right here. I'm right here. Good. See, if she can't see me, she can at least hear me. So I let her know, and then I'm rubbing her. It's all right. It's all right. No, don't want to go forward. And we're going to pull that off. Good girl. <sighs> Give her a minute to rest about that. She did a good job. And I'm going to invoke that thought. Thinking about what just happened. Yes, yes, nibble girl. Nibble girl. There. There. Shh. No nibbling on me. No nibbling on the tap. Good girl. I'm going to back her up because she moved forward without me asking, but I didn't want to get after her too much because we're trying to work on the tarp and I don't want to drive her to fear. So I'm not going to get after her for walking forward until I'm in a position that I know that I can be safe in doing that. Because if I had tried to drive her back all angry that she, she moved my feet while she's under the tarp, I could have had a meltdown. She could have gotten frightened and jumped into me. So you don't have to immediately rah, 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 get after your horse for you know, moving your feet when you're in the middle of something that's, that's potentially dangerous. It's okay. That's all right. Get yourself in a safe position. Then ask the horse to back up and control their feet. Good girl. Good girl. Timing and safety. Very important. Just be safe. It's all right to go back and start again. Rather do that than have a meltdown and get hurt. Good girl. Can I have your head down now? Good. And go all the way down and all the way down. That's what I want. I want her relaxed. Good job and trust in me. Good girl. I'm right here. I'm right here. Can I get your head down? Head down. It's okay. Here I am. Good girl. Very good. She's trying to see. Isn't that cute? Good girl. Oh, excellent. 
You did a good job. I'm gonna go a little further. It's all right, I'm right here for you. And now she can't see it all. She's having to really trust. So I've got my hand under there. Just letting her know she's all right. Good girl. And now I'm gonna pull it back. Good job. Eventually, I'm gonna pull it all the way over her, but she's not ready. You gotta do those some things in steps. Back up, back up, back up. Excellent. Oh, good girl. Are you gonna think about that? Yeah, you th oh, good job, you're thinking about that. All right, next thing I'm, I'm going to do, I feel that we're successful getting that over her head. And we'll work on getting it further over, further over, and we'll pull that over her head eventually, but not today. You don't want to, remember, it's important to break these things down in small sessions. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to desensitize her with this. So I'm going to pull it off. Good girl. And I'm going to sack her out a bit with it. So I'm going to start out big because she's had it on her body big. So I'm going to go ahead and just sack her out. And if she's frightened, I'll make it smaller and sack out that way. Good girl. Look at that. And you know, I couldn't have done this had I not done the rope over her body, her lead rope and the stick and string over her body. She wouldn't be able to deal with that. So you can see how these things build on one another. You want to start out with the small desensitizing and then go to a, the more advanced over time. And all of this builds the relationship, the confidence and trust between you and your horse. Good girl. Sacking her out with it. It's not a big deal. It's excellent. That's what I want. Very good. And up and over the head. Good girl. Now, I'm going to have her cross the tarp. And this is a very good exercise to set up a horse for crossing water. To cross water, horses don't know where the bottom is. Their vision, being that they are binocular, they have a blind spot in the, in the front and they have a blind spot directly behind. So when they're looking at the water or whatever the scary thing is on the ground, they don't know where the bottom of that is. If she wants to sniff it. I'm totally supportive of that. Good. She's going to play with it herself. That's fine. Naturally curious about it. Are you going to pick it up? Go ahead and pick it up with your teeth. Some horses will pick it up and shake it. Good girl. She's making sure there is a bottom to it. It's moving around. That's excellent. And this horse doesn't have a lot of fear with this. Good girl. Oops, can I get you to step back? You're standing on it. Back, back. Very nice. Oftentimes, I will make this a lot smaller for a horse that has more fear. Start out with a tiny little square. And as the leader, I'll walk on it. And I'll kind of stomp on it. And I'll make noise. So she recognizes, well, the leader's stepping on it. Maybe I can too. Yeah, it's all right a neighbor in a stall there. So I'm just going to walk on it. And I'm going to love her for it. You're all right. And see if she's interested in stepping on it. And I keep myself clear because you don't want to be walking right next to your horse over a scary thing because they can just boom, step right into you. Good girl. Encourage that curiosity and tell her that she's doing the right thing. Good job. You want to step on that a little more? Good. And I keep myself in a safe position. If she was to get frightened, if that got hung up on her back of her legs, I need to be able to jump out of the way. Keep yourself safe. We'll grow this in a minute, but I want her to step on it without any thought. Come on. Just walk on it. Good job. Good job. And you notice I'm not forcing her. I'm just asking her, allowing her to make the decision to walk on it. Good girl. Honoring her autonomy. Appreciating her. And she is recognizing me as the herd leader. That's my status. And I'm her teacher today. That's my role. And she's being a very good student. She's learned that her role with me is to learn, to be with me, to mimic me. She's doing a very good job mimicking me. 
And you can see, you know, I'm able to drop the lead rope quite often. But she wants to be with me. She wants to, well, so what are we doing? This is fun. And I make it fun for her. This isn't work. This is fun. She, it engages her mind. And we have fun together. Good girl. And you can see in my training, I don't hit horses. The only time she get a little smack in her mouth when she tries to bite. Oh, that's silly. You're being silly. That's a lot of fun, isn't it? So this is her first time that she's ever been exposed to the tarp. And she's doing a good job about it. Now there'll come a point where I'll go, you know what? We're done playing, and I need you to walk across it nicely. And she just loves to play with it. She's this little kid. But you know, if you're at a show, you don't want your horse stopping to play with the tarp. So now we're going to be walking. You need to get out of my space. Good girl. This is great continued exercising, exercise of leading. Leading your horse across the tarp. She's to be rational and a good girl about it. Excellent. Tilly, very good. And I don't think that we would have been at this point in our relationship had I not taken the time to honor and respect her and grow her slowly. Remember, keep your sessions short with your horse. When they get it right, then put them away. You may only spend 20 minutes one day. And I know you want to spend more time with your horse, doing things, hurry up and get it all done. Keep yourself from doing that. You can still spend time with your horse grooming and loving and caring. But when it comes to training, a little bit at a time, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, when it's right, when it's good, it's time to stop. And we're going to end her session at this point. Say bye-bye. I learned so much today. And she's rational about it. That's what you want. You want a rational horse. Break it down into small steps. Good girl. So now, Tilly is moving on to more advanced groundwork. We're at the last of our five fundamental ground techniques, which is changing direction. And what that means is while I'm lunging her, she's going to change direction so I don't have to stop her and change her with a one rein stop. This is another way to stop your horse. And changing direction is a good way to help the horse connect their feet with their brain. They have to turn on the haunch, they have to turn on the forehand. It's very good brain work for the horse. And where I want to get with this is I'm dancing with my horse. Remember how I talked about there's the leader and there's the follower in a herd of two when you're dancing with your horse and when you're out on the trail, isn't it great? How you're one with your horse and it's like dancing. Well, changing direction is where it begins on the ground. So I'm going to ask Tilly to back up. Good girl. I'm just asking for more. She's doing the right thing. Good girl. Thank you. And I'm going to ask her to lunge. We're going to go to the left. And the way I'm going to change direction is I'm going to step in front of her drive line. Her drive line is the girth forward. And the way I'm going to step is I'm just going to step to the side. Now watch my body language. I'm going to be looking at her and I'm going to ask her to turn around. And the way I'm going to help support her to understand what I'm asking is I will tug on the lead rope to get her to stop, turn around, and look at me. And then I'll ask her for the other direction. But I need her to stop first before we really start dancing. I need you further back. Good job. Good girl. OK, girly. Now we're going to lunge. No. Good girl. Get out of my space. And you'll notice I always walk into my horse. I never walk away from my horse because that means they're controlling my feet. If my horse is coming in too close and backing me up, I need to get in there and get my horse out of my space. Because if she's moving my feet, she's in control. And she cannot be. My status has to maintain the leader. Now I'm going to step in front of the drive line and look. And she looked at me, 
but I don't want that bottom in my, in my eye line. When, I, when she looks at me, I want that bottom out of my space. So it goes back to yielding the hindquarters. Remember how you taught your horse to yield the hindquarters? This is where we're going to apply it even more. Good girl. I think she just had lunch. <laughs> what are you chewing on? What's in there? Now she's chewing. She's got something going on in there. I'm going to allow her to finish whatever that is. What is that? You're just playing with your tongue maybe? Oh, good girl. All done. Okay. All right. Other direction. Get going. Good girl. Get going. Good girl. Now watch my body as I step in front of the drive line. I reach with that line. Good girl. And she's turning around and looking at me already. Now if she wasn't, she's pretty easy. And usually by this time, when you've worked these steps with your horse, they're going to be a lot easier to deal with. So she's being very attentive. When I look at her, she's looking right at me. Had she not, though, I would have pulled on that lead rope and yanked her nose. Hey, 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 you need to look at me. And then she would have turned around and looked. But she's uh, not being a very good example of a problem horse today. Stop. She's being impatient, though. Okay. This way. She needs to get going. Get going. Come on. Come on, Tilly. Good girl. And she's being a little resistant today. Low energy. Gonna tap that bottom. Get going. There you go. Oh, goodness sakes. There. That's what I want. Good energy. Good girl. She got a little worried about that gate. Get going. Trot. Trot. Good girl. You know what? She's telling me I'm a little bothered by the gate. And I know why. It's because we have a ladder over here leaning up against the barn that she has not seen before. We just put that up today. You want to check that out? It's all right. You know, I could have gotten after her. I could have taken the end of that, uh, the end of the stick and string and hit her with the string and made her go. You know, thinking she's just being obstinate and stubborn. But if you noticed, it was all right here at the gate. So that told me, you know, something's changed at the gate, and that's because we have a ladder standing up there. And look, she's, oh, concerned about that. That's all right. And I, what I do on one side, I'm going to do on the other. Just acknowledge she's got a little concern on this side. Yeah, over here by the gate, that is. There, see, it's no big deal. Can I get your head down? There, and let's just hang out together. Good job, Tilly. And I'm just going to support her with it and hang out with her for a minute here. It's all right. That's just a ladder. That's nothing bad. Yeah, that's a good girl. Now I want you to lunge nicely, okay? Not a big deal. Can I have you hang down? There. Good girl. Oh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now let's try to get back to it. See how she does lunging. What a good girl. Oh, and back, 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 back. Very nice, very nice. Something I want to point out is I lunge her and I step in front of the drive line. I pass my stick under the rope. I reach with my other hand overhand. Now watch that closely. I'm going to do it standing here. Step in front of the drive line. Watch where my body is. Pass that stick under my hand, I swap the stick, and I reach for the rope, and I get her to stop. Okay, girly, and she's going, I'm going to follow that. Back. Back. Good girl. Now, uh, uh. get going. Good girl. Now, I didn't have to tap her. I just swung it towards her shoulder. She knew that I was serious. Because I will follow through with the tap on the shoulder if she's not listening. Good girl. Good girl. I'm having to give her a little more support with the kissing sound. Keep her going. Good job. Nope. Good. I'm going to step in front of that drive line, grab and pull, and make her stand. Good. 
Now, I don't want that butt. You notice how that butt is kind of sticking out, that bottom there? I'm going to ask for that to move. Very good. When I look down that horse, that bottom is not to be sticking out in my eye line. That's disrespectful. She needs to swing that bottom around and pay attention with her two eyes on me. Good girl, as she's doing right now. Good job. I know you're impatient. You want to you want to learn. She loves learning. Get going. Good girl. Good girl. And trot. Trot. Good job. She's just learning that today. We have not pushed for trots. Not even a canter yet. Come on. Get going. And she has to understand that when I pick up the stick, I will follow through and I will tap her with that because I do mean what I say. She is now learning that I do mean what I say. And I'm going to ask her to stop and pull. Good, and I pulled because I want that bottom out of my eye line. And it's still sticking out a little bit. Good job. Uh -uh, back, I didn't ask for you to come in. Now there is coming a point in Tilly's training, and you're gonna experience this with your horse as well that they're going to start taking you, they're going to start questioning your leadership. And every day, horses are constantly testing one another within the herd, trying to, to better their position, their status in the herd. So she's starting to get a little bit lazy, like, well, you know, I don't really think I need to do that. I really don't want to trot. So when you pick up your stick, you need to be prepared to follow through with tapping that shoulder and letting that horse know that you are serious, that you do want them to trot. Don't let them not trot when you've asked, because then they're training you. You're not training your horse. Make sure you maintain your position of leadership with follow through. You must follow through. It's just like raising our kids. If we threaten all the time, we're going to punish them for getting into the cookie jar, you're gonna have to sit in a timeout and you never put that child in a timeout, they're never going to trust you, they're never going to believe what you say. And when it really matters, when that child needs to trust you, it's not gonna be there because you didn't follow through. Same with this horse. Horses are too dangerous to not live up to following through when you ask something. It's just too dangerous, you must follow through. I'm gonna ask her again, same direction. Picking up that stick, good girl, good girl. And she knows I'm serious, I will follow through. And I will walk into her, because it's her job to get out of my space. And one, and two, and I like to count, good girl, because it's like a dance. Uh -uh, and back up, back up. Very good, and I'm going to let her know she's done a good job. And now I think she's ready to dance. We're gonna just start dancing, see how she does. And that simply means she'll go from a quick stop to a change of direction. So I'm going to ask her to go. You need to pay attention. Good girl. I know you want to watch Paco. He's next. Yes. Good girl. Excellent. Stop slowing down, though. There you go. Just added some pressure behind that bottom. I don't want her to st slow down. Now, one and two and three, good girl. So she's gonna have to think a little quicker. But I'm not gonna get after her, I'm gonna help her come up with the right response. She didn't know, she has to watch me even that much closer now. Good job, and that way. Good girl, see she, whoopsie, she's used to stopping and looking at me. Now she's gotta shift gears and change direction without stopping. Just a second of a pause, two and three, come on, that girl. So I came in there and I just tapped that shoulder a little bit. I am serious when I walk into your space, you need to get going. And I don't want to change direction in the same spot every time, so I have to vary it. So she's not, doesn't get programmed to just change. No. Good girl. And you see, I had to get on her other side when she got confused about changing. I needed to get on that other side of her so she'd go away from my pressure 
and go in the direction I asked. One, two, and three. Good girl. Good girl. I didn't have to tap her. She was starting to go the direction I wanted. So why would I get after her? She was trying. She did a good job. And one, two, and three. This way. Good girl. Out of my space. Good girl. Very nice. Oh, she's doing pretty good. Now you, can, you get the idea. You get your horse to stop and look. Bump, 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 bump. There you go. Good girl. Another direction. There. Good job. She's just got to sort it out. We're just picking up the pace now. Good girl. And one and two. Uh, uh. And because I didn't pull on that nose real good the first time, I didn't get her turned around well enough. Out of my space. Good girl. You notice I didn't have to hit her hard. I just tapped her. You don't have to come in there and hit them hard. Just tap them. There, so they know what you're asking. Good girl. And she's trying to get out of my space, so I'm not touching her because she's moving off. What a super girl. And one and two. Get that nose to me a little bit more because she has a harder time going to the left. Good girl. Good girl. And we're going to end with a one rein stop. And a one rein stop. We're going to toss the rope since we've done our desensitizing. Excellent. What a good girl. And look, she's licking and chewing, thinking about that. What a great girl. You did good. And that's her first session with changing direction. And I'm going to leave it right there. Remember, don't wear your horse out over it. Don't look for perfection. Enjoy the journey with your horse, and your horse will learn that much quicker. The two of you will have a wonderful bond and a great relationship. You did a super job, my girl. Hi, I'm back today with Tilly. As you can see, she's got the saddle on. It's been a few weeks, and I've got a couple of rides now on her. Today, we're going to learn how the five fundamentals translate under saddle. And Tilly's going to learn that too. I prefer to cinch over two or three times uh, when I first saddle a horse. The reason is I don't want that skin to get pinched under that arm. If I saddle and just get on and there's some skin pinch, boy, that's a sure buck. So what I like to do is use the five fundamentals to get that saddle in the right position and that first fundamental is holistic lunging. The lunging helps get any skin that's pinched uh, moving around underneath uh, in between the cinch. It also helps the saddle find the correct position on the horse. The shoulders are moving, the hips are moving, and that saddle can move into place. I never cinch up a horse hard and fast and finish. I do it over two to three steps. I've had people ask me, well, why don't you just pick up that front foot and pull and stretch that skin so it's not getting pinched? The reason why I don't do that is it's really hard. There takes a lot of strength. When you're holding that foot up, if that horse starts to lean forward or get spooked, they fall into you or you're having to hold that. It's too, um, uh, it, it's too hard for me to do that. It takes a lot more muscle than I have. So it's so much easier to just incorporate my five fundamentals, and that first one is lunging. So let's get started. Now I'm going to ask Tilly to head off to the left, and we've already done our three foundational requirements. She's really well set in that now. She's had a lot of time at that, doing a great job, and look at how well she's doing. Good girl. And you see I don't even have to use my stick anymore. And I'm going to ask for a change of direction. Good girl. Now, you don't have to do the five fundamentals in any particular order. I do suggest you start with holistic lunging first. I mean, that's just a good place to start to get that cinch in place. Good girl. And then I'm going to do a one rein stop. And I'm going to throw the rope over since we've been doing a lot of desensitizing anyways over these weeks. Good job. And she's licking and chewing. What a good girl. Now, I'm going to check that cinch. Your sweet girl. I need your nose this way and I like to tip that nose just a tiny bit so when I cinch in case she was to get uh, spooked or bugged I could pull that nose close to me and disengage those hindquarters. Good girl. Pull that up a little bit. There. Now that I've cinched that up I'm going to lunge her again in case she has any pinched skin. I want her to be comfortable. No you need to get back. 
oh, she's just ready to go, but I want you to back up, back up, back up. Very good. And she's just kind of reading my mind. I'm going, yeah, let's go to the right. Good girl. You notice how respectful she is. She's out of my space. She's really come a long way in these last few weeks. And I use the end of my lead rope to uh, add pressure and energy to keep her going. And I step in front of that drive line and I ask, and I need her to change direction. Good girl, get out of my space. Get out of my space. Good girl. Very good. Now I run my horses through these five fundamentals every time I go for a ride, every time. That way that horse knows that I'm the same yesterday, I'm the same today, and I'm consistent. And that consistency leads to confidence and trust in me as this horse's herd leader. Good girl, you're being all sniffly. You're sniffing around. Oh, and there's leaves in here. She's wanting to eat. So let's check to see how that saddle is on you. I think that looks pretty good. Would you please keep your head up? Good job. Good girl. So I'm going to do some desensitizing. Remember, that's part of the five fundamentals. And what I'm going to do, in addition to the desensitizing that you've seen me do before with her, is I'm going to check the saddle as well, do some desensitizing with that saddle. So I check behind those legs, in front of those legs, and now I'm going to make some noise on this saddle. Well, you want to make sure that this isn't a problem for your horse. When you're out there on the trail and a branch, uh, a branch hits your saddle and makes a noise, you want to make sure that your horse can handle that. Another thing I like to do, desensitizing with the saddle, is I'll tip that nose a little bit. Can I get you to back up, please? Back up. Thank you. I'm going to tip that nose a little bit, and I'm going to take this stirrup, and I'm going to see if she's all right with that, kind of baby step her through it. And then I'll slap a little harder. Good girl. Make sure that it's not a problem. You'd be surprised how many horses I've had in my care that have just dropped to the ground in fear from the noise or the feel of that. And I sure want to make... Um, uh, I, I want to make sure that that horse is comfortable with my legs being on them and flapping with those fenders. Good girl. I'm just going to rub her all over, make sure she's all right. What a good girl. Very nice. And what I do on one side, I'm going to do on the other. Let's turn around. Good girl. And hope. And back. 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 Very nice. Very good. I'm going to check to see if everything's okay with this. Yes, very good. Very good. And I'm going to tip that nose a little bit. Make sure that stirrup's not bothering her. Very good. Very good. Good job. I'm going to lunge her one more time, and then I'm going to go ahead and mount, and I will show you, I will show you the other fundamentals under saddle. Good girl. It's important to have that one rein stop good on the ground because that's your emergency handbrake under the saddle. Good job. Very nice. And one and two and three. Let's get going. Out of my space. Good girl. She gets into my space. You see that I just kind of push her out with my arms. Energy coming off my hand. Good job. Very nice. And a one rein stop. Very good girl. And nose to grip. Excellent. The other thing I want to make sure is that she can disengage those hind quarters. Remember, we yield those hind quarters and those fore quarters. And you'll see how that translates under saddle. But I want to make sure I've got that on the ground as well before I mount. So I'm going to tip that nose and I'm going to put my thumb where my heel would go when my foot is in the stirrup. You want to make sure when you're asking your horse to disengage their hindquarters that you're not doing it up here or somewhere where your foot isn't going to be. Remember what you do on the ground has got to translate in the saddle. So my thumb is going to go where my heel would be. I'm going to tip that nose and I'm going to, s oh good girl, and I just put my thumb, I just touched her with that and that's really where I want to be. Can I have that nose? Very good. I really want to be just the slightest touch with my horse. I don't want to use a lot of pressure to move my horse around. And when you do all the ground techniques, it makes the riding so much easier and safer. Good girl. I'm going to make sure that when I pull that nose and I ask for that disengagement, very nice, very nice. Good girl. 
Let me just straighten this out. There. I want her to be comfortable. Very good. Very good. Very good girl. Make sure there's enough space in between. Put my fingers in that girth. Excellent. Now, as I mentioned before, I'm an advocate of helmets. I always wear a helmet with horses in training. Oh, no chewing on tack, but thank you for picking that up for me. Okay, I'm going to convert my lead rope to reins. And you can request a free copy of the brochure on my website that gives you instructions and pictures on how to do this conversion. Go to my website, www.holistichorsemanship.com, and that's holistic with a W. Whenever I convert from lead rope to reins, I then flex the horse because it is a different feeling from lead rope to reins. I'm going to ask her to step over here so you can see how I like to flex. So I'm going to grab the rope just as I would with a one rein stop, about 18 inches from elbow to hand, down the rein, and I'm going to put my hand up on the saddle area just as I did. Good girl. Good girl. Just as I did when I did a one rein stop on the ground. I'm going to ask again, and then I'm going to, good girl, I'm going to have her disengage. Good job. And I'm just going to rub it. No, you don't chew on the tack. And good girl. She had to understand there's no nibbling on the tack, so I had to give her a little tap. Reinforce that she, she isn't to do that because she likes to nibble. You know, she's just new at the saddle, so she loves to try to nibble on my toes and nibble on the stirrups, and she has to find out that that's, that's inappropriate. So I'm going to flex. I'm going to ask to disengage. No, I need you to disengage. Good girl. Very good. She's always fiddling around with ropes. Yes. Always wanting to nibble stuff. Now that I'm mounted, I want to remind her of the safe and loving place we go when we're in trouble. Remember, I taught her on the ground that nose to girth is the safe and loving place. So I'm going to flex that nose and I'm going to reach down and love her up. This is this no safe and loving place. And if she's going to nibble on my boot, she's going to end up getting a mouthful of my boot. Good girl. And she's nice and soft. Good. And I release. Good girl. And I'm going to ask her on this side. What I do on one side, I'm going to do on the other. And see, she's just learning her balance. I'm going to reach down and love her up. This is the safe and loving place we go. See how this translates now under saddle? Good girl. Now, I'm going to ask her to move forward. So I'm going to squeeze and move forward. Good girl. She's just learning this. Very good. I want to make sure that my one rein stop is working under saddle. Shh. I'm going to ask her to go forward. Good. And a one rein stop to the left. I'm going to put my foot back at the same time. I'm going to ask her to disengage and point with my finger. If she doesn't do it, good girl, release my foot. Good. And she's nice and soft. In a one rein stop, do not pull your horse's nose up to your knee or higher. Now I'm going to take my outside leg. Oh, I'm going to keep that one rein stop, but no foot on her. But I'm going to use my outside leg, which is my right leg. I'm going to ask for that shoulder to come around. So I'm putting that right, that outside leg against the girth, asking her to go. Good girl. Slow. Good. Good. Now she doesn't know her steering very well, so this is all new. And her feet get kind of stuck. So we're going to head over to the left. Good girl. Good girl. And a one rein stop to the right. And I'm going to ask for two disengagements. I may get more than two. That's fine. One. Good. And release my foot. Hold that nose. Do not release that horse's nose until their feet have stopped moving and they've settled down. Ho. 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 That's all right. Good girl. And she's soft. Good girl. Now, you, now, you notice I had to stay with her. She starts spinning around, getting a little upset. So I need you to just stay with her. Good girl. Very good girl. And I'm going to ask her to go to the left. I'm going to pull and wait till she gives. Good girl. Good girl. Now, head over to the left. Good job, Tilly. 
Good job, Tilly. And you want to make sure that your one rain stop is good in all three gates. Now we're not going to be trotting or cantering her today because she's just starting to learn. I've just had a few days under saddle with her. Good girl. And we want to go to the right. Good job. And I ride with life. I move forward with her with my body and my hands. That's because I'm starting a horse. Uh, she's green and I'm just starting to teach her how to move forward. I really don't worry about my steering at this point. Uh, she's going to check out that gate. Oh, things are over there. You know how that's been an issue for her, that gate, and the various things that keep changing over there. It's all right. I'm just a little confused there about turning. And I'm going to stop her. And the way I like to stop a horse is I'm going to sit deep in the saddle and just slightly pull back. And if she doesn't stop, I'll shut her down in a one rein stop when she's stopping on her own. But I didn't ask for that. So we'll keep going. We'll come around again. And you'll notice I'll just shift my weight down deep in the saddle and I'll pull back just slightly, keeping my elbows in, moving her with my body as I turn my head. Good girl. Try to use my body to help her understand turning. And ho. Oh, very good. Very good. And you notice my voice. It was very deep down below. Ho. Oh, she understands that. Good girl. And she's licking and chewing. I'm going to let her think about that. So as you can see, the five fundamentals start with holistic lunging. Great place to start when you put that saddle on. You want to cinch over two or three times. You want to do your one rein stop on the ground, the safe and loving place you go when you're in trouble. When you're lunging, you want to do your change of direction. And you can yield those hind quarters. You can yield those four quarters as you ask for the change of direction if you, when you ask to stop and you're desensitizing, you want to make sure you're desensitizing the saddle as well. Good girl. And a one rein stop to the left. I want two disengagements. Good, one and two. Very good, I release my foot but I hold her nose until those feet stop moving. And then I ask for that front end to come around. Very good. That was very good, Tilly. She's getting much better. Very good. Very good. And I want to go over to H. So I want that bottom to move. There we go. I'm gonna start working on straightening out her body with my legs. And she needs more suppling to the right. Good girl. And ho. Oh, I just relax my body. I sit deep in that saddle and I ask. The key is to ask nicely. And then amp your pressure if you need to. Applied measure of pressure. If your horse isn't responding, you ask nicely. And then you increase the pressure until you get what you've asked for. And instantly drop that pressure and appreciate that horse. Good girl. Very good. 